Hey, this is the PC doctor in Bowling Green, Mike Denny, and I'm doing a video that's going to be it's going to double as a YouTube instructional on a Asus mod I did and also as a Amazon review. I might just do a link for it. But uh, that's not really what I look like, of course, but I hope I don't get sued by South Park since I still like all their old stuff. <laughs> and uh but I put it up there because I didn't know how long I was going to talk. Anyway, I'm going to start talking now about the mod. Uh, basically I have an Asus Republic of Gamers G60VX and uh, it looks like the pictures I'm about to show you right here this is what the cover of my G60 looks like as you can see it's a G60VX RBB X05 those familiar with this series of Asus laptops affected by this disorder know exactly what I'm talking about it's this this is just a cosmetic piece. It's not a speaker. It's not a footy. It's nothing. So, you know, bad idea, Asus. Um, and I just absolutely do think that this was something they were testing on us. And here's why. Their new N71 model actually has a base speaker in the bottom. This is an actual close-up of that same N71 Republic of Gamers laptop that just came out last year. So maybe you were just guinea pigs for what they intended to do all along, but it would have been nice not to have been a guinea pig, especially if you paid full price. So what most modders do is they cut out this fake cosmetic piece, and they uh, either cut it out entirely or they drill holes in it to make a real grill where the stock one is just stamped in and fake. It's really shoddy quality control or even a manufacturing design process by Asus. It makes you feel like they just released a product that wasn't ready for release because the fan is directly centered under this fake grill. Before your mod comes out looking as ridiculous as I do in this photo, you want to look at other mods. I'm sure everybody does that, but uh, I'm about to show you some of the pictures I found while Googling around and looking for grill mods for this uh, particular series since I have one. The results I got were anywhere from uh, outstanding to simple but they're all function over form. This grill mod was one of the cleanest ones I've seen. I tried to duplicate this guy's results. Of course half the fun of these is trying to figure out where they got these grills. I seem to remember seeing one of these on an old laptop I worked on. This is my favorite grill mod uh, due to the overall look of it, the finished look. It's really professionally done. I think he even cut a bevel into uh, the grill itself or it came that way but it's awesome there's a lot to be said about this one uh, either this was a different model in the uh, Republic of Gamers series or the user took a bottom plate off of one of the other models to use on a 50 or 60 uh, I like the results it's a lot simpler than taking and you know cutting out that blank grill and putting in your own and I think he got good results as I read uh, his post on notebookreview.com these last three picks are by the user Chronic79 on Notebook Review. I think his grill plate was good enough, but the real work shows the, his his internal mod was the best I've seen, and I told him tonight on that website. You look at the heat sinks, all the copper areas here, he reworked all of those painstakingly. And I think you'll see, those who know what to look for will know in, in this next close-up that he provided. Uh, you just look at the heat sinks that he put on uh, his GPU, you can find these if you look them. Uh, if you if you look up Raspberry Pi copper heat sinks on Amazon, and you also notice the finned heat sinks that he added to the tops of his GPU and his front side bus. Uh, I mean his uh, Northridge. Uh, just really impressive work by the guy. Really clean. He said he got 10 degrees Celsius cooler by just installing these little heat sinks, which is extremely impressive. And honestly, to me, to get any better, you'd have to start dealing with uh, desktop or tower or gamer style uh, heat sink you know liquid radiators which is <laughs> crazy one of the biggest things you can do to bring down your GPU temps and overall temps inside this Republic of Gamer laptop series is to buy some good thermal pads cut them up 
to match the uh, die marks on the bottom of your GPU heatsink as shown here. Make sure it's cleaner than this, I did. And uh, just re reinstall it and it'll make better contact uh, overall. In the next set of picks, I'll show you what it looks like from the side and that you should probably bend those. One of the things I noticed was that my GPU heatsink wasn't making good enough contact from the side. So I had to take it off, bend those against the GPU so when I remounted it that it put better pressure on the chips with the thermal pads in place. And I got better temps out of that too, about 2 degrees Celsius actually. The uh, Phobia thermal pads were really easy to work with. Um, I noted that one of these pads, uh, which I paid 8 bucks for on Amazon plus shipping, had enough in it to do, uh, I actually just showed you the remainder. I did all these already and then um, I had enough left over to do uh, that again. Uh, you, again you use the uh, die marks that are cut into here like registration marks on the bottom of the GPU to show you where to place these. Uh, that Therefore you can place them against here or you can just do what I did. Put them on the chips and uh, either way it works. Another Phobia thermal pad feature that makes them easy to work with is that the company uses two different types of laminate on either side of their product. This makes it easy to remember which side is up for consistency's sake. Again, the Phobia thermal pads were easy to work with. I was able to use a tiny Phillips head even to nudge them exactly where I want them to be. Um, haven't found too many of the thermal pads that were of this high quality and easy to work with. One thing to note is not to use tools of any kind if you have to bend the heat sink copper tube back into place. Using tools to grip the uh, uh, heat sink of any kind, I thought I could get away with it on this, but the copper was so soft it was malleable. You don't want to do that. Luckily, I got away with it this time because I didn't create a deep enough rut to impede the passage of air through it. And I tested it afterward. I got very lucky. So make sure you learn from my mistakes and don't do what I did. Here's a good image of uh, how the GPU heat sinks were actually bent away from the chips and uh, therefore forced me to think about and go ahead and bend them back into place. Remember if you have to do any bending to, to hold the GPU heat sink in such a way that you're not bending the tube away from the plate itself, uh, just make sure you hear me on this so you'll have a better chance of, of having an easier time of it and doing it right the first time. This is a picture of the thermal pads that came with the computer and they're pretty chintzy ones if you take a close look. This is the shot of the Phobia thermal pads again applied. You notice how much uniform it looks. The GTX 260 mobile unit graphics card that comes in these laptops is actually replaceable but you don't want to have to do it because I've seen them as low as $75 and that's used on eBay. They go over $200. I got very fortunate that mine turned out as good as it did. I recommend you use, a, I think it's an exactly, uh, the hole is exactly three and a half inches, uh, the part you want to cut out around. So if you can get somebody with a hole saw who's really good at it, use that instead of the method I used, which is basically just a very fine jigsaw blade. And uh, with my hands the way they are after having carpal tunnel, I was I was really almost messed it up as you can see here kinda got lucky again I used a Kenwood grill from an old Kenwood speaker and this is what it looked like initially from the outside um, and I also got kinda lucky in that the fumes uh, from the superglue didn't mar the surface of this fake chrome finish on the ring itself because uh, that's all I used to clamp it into place was superglue and I clamped it overnight and I think uh, for the first time mod uh, this kind of mod for somebody like me it turned out pretty well again I got very lucky so I feel very blessed this turned out as well as it did when I was done I noticed that the fan housing was gray so I wanted to go ahead and paint it black to make it look better from the bottom so that's the next series of photos this plate is held on by rivets instead of screws so I couldn't really disassemble it very well I could do it from the other side but anyway um, I went ahead and just taped it off uh, like so, put it in a pizza box, an empty pizza box, and painted it with some nice Krylon paint. Here I had the fan back apart because I was thinking about cutting slots into the side. I was going to vent it, as uh, you can see the slots uh, I had 
drawn on the side but I thought better of it because I'd be venting hot air back in the underneath the GPU. This is what the fan looked like uh, put back in the unit, reinstalled, it looked pretty good from the inside. It's not too shabby on the outside either considering I'm a noob at this. Before this phase of my mods I, was, I had uh, consistent GPU temperatures over 200 degrees Fahrenheit which is un, you know, tenable, you really can't do that. I found the proper video graphics driver, uh, the NVIDIA one, I think it's 18662 and uh, after that I was able to get Riva Tuner to work with it and got it down even lower than this screenshot shows. I was able to average around 134 idle or with consistent loads. Phase 2 of my mod has already started. I've taken this uh, rectangular section out of my bottom plate over my GPU. I've I dug out the old Kenwood speaker grill again, the same type I used in phase one. I've cut this section out and I'm going through the process of folding it into shape so that I can insert it and install it uh, over, I mean underneath the area that goes over my GPU. So it's actually going to go right here. It's going to be a good intake right over the GPU. The last phase uh, will be to install a fan. Uh, directly underneath the uh, little grills, the, the vertical slots you see at bottom right of this picture. Um, I've got the fan. I'm going to have to build a heat sink to do to run off the GPU. It's going to be the hard part. And I'm going to use the Wi-Fi switch and wire it to my original system fan here. <laughs> Thank you.